Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Fatal. This is Fatal The Draw. This is where the YouTubers get to find out who they are playing, including myself as well. I don't know who I'm playing as of yet. And uh, we have got a nice special guest, guys, with international caps uh, in a men's national team, as well as uh, a well-performing player. I played with him at Wembley before. Um, have I played with him any other time? Only with his emotions, I think it, guys. Uh, we have got Jimmy Conrad doing the draw today. Uh, if you guys don't know who Jimmy Conrad is, you've been sleeping under a rock because he is, uh, uh, well, you, if you guys play FIFA, you will have seen him on the dashboard and stuff like that. If you've watched the Foot Champions regionals, you will have noticed he was in them as well, um, doing the commentating. So, I did politely ask him to do the draw today, and uh, he has well and truly done it in uh, really good style. I feel underdressed, guys. Literally, I'm wearing a t-shirt and hoodie. Jimmy Conrad went out and bought a bloody suit. And got assistance to do the draw as well, which is pretty crazy. But today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the team which I'm going to be uh, taking into my um, tournament uh, game, which is going to start on Saturday and Sunday, guys. That's when they're going to be uploaded, and uh, hopefully it's going to be some nice roundups for you guys to take a look at. So the team as it looks now, guys, this is the team we had at the start of last um, the last episode, which is episode 5, we are obviously not going to be taking Matter. Interestingly enough, I wanted to play with Matter, but you guys didn't want him, and the two people who are jumping into the team, guys, are going to be um, De Bruyne, he's going to be jumping in into that position, and the final one is going to be the inform Winston Reid as well. So, a solid team, decent defence, decent uh, substitutes as well, as you guys do know, we can use them past the 45th minute, and we're also adding in one more substitute as well, guys, which is going to be a French player, and and uh, won the vote via popular amount. It is going to be the 88 rated um, Paul Pogba for Manchester United. It's not going to be any special version of him. So I went and bought the normal Paul Pogba, which I'll be offloading again after this. So as a team as it looks, guys, absolutely solid, uh, in my opinion. Um, how we do, we don't know. We'll have to wait and see who we do draw, guys. So if you do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheat game codes, guys, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we try and smash over 6,000 likes for the draw, that'd be awesome, guys. And uh, remember to subscribe to me. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe to all the other people. People who are involved in the series and also go and drop a subscription to Jimmy Conrad's channel and social media guys all the links are down below and um, it's a way of saying thank you for doing the drugs I don't pay him even though he wanted paying like a few hundred thousand um Pounds. I wasn't down for that, guys. So, literally, we're going to pay him with uh, a few subs, which we'll send over from the channel. So, you guys go and drop a sub to Jimmy. Follow him on Twitter as well. He's a verified Twitter account somehow. And, uh, yeah, that's the team as it looks. Let's go and find out who is playing who in the fail Season 3 Man of the Match style. Thank you, Bateson, for the vivid introduction. And thank you again for not elbowing me in the face at Wembley Cup. My moneymaker greatly appreciates it. Anyway, let's get to the fatal knockout draw, where 16 players are going to compete but only one can be the winner. I'm your host for this draw and your favorite former U.S. men's national team player, Jimmy Conrad, also known as Manager Eno, on arguably the best career mode series on the internet. Now, let's take a look at your 16 players. As you can see, there are some familiar names, maybe some names you've never heard of before, and some names that could be hard to pronounce, like some teams in the Europa League. Nepotisms. <laughs> now let's get on with the draw. The bowl, please. That is the wrong bowl, but I do appreciate my M&Ms. The other bowl, please. Thank you. And first up is... Oh my gosh, you guys won't believe it. It's Kazooie. Now the scouting report on Kazooie is he's got the skills, but he never wins, he always loses. So come on, Kazooie. You can do it this time. Kazooie's going up against Nepenthes. <laughs> now he was a fatal finalist the last time around. And if you guys need directions on your road to foot champs, he knows which way to go. I said foot, that's what EA likes you to say. It's actually, I like calling it foot. That was a really bad joke. But I'm Jimmy Cringerad, so it's fine. fine. The bowl please. Marshall. Marshall, uh, he shaved his head, apparently in honor of his hero, Bateson. So that's a pretty big deal. And he won the last Fatal Tournament, so I feel like there's a lot of pressure on him. The Bull. I don't even need to ask for it anymore. You know, you know what I'm looking at. Just look over, it's fine. <laughs> oh man, this is a great one. It's Lasty. Now, according to many, uh, Lasty is considered a postcode because he never makes it past the first round. Personally, I think it's just because he likes to live up to his name. Lasty, he likes to get last. The Bull. Maverick Wolves. 
Now these two play as a pair and it makes me wonder which wolf is better and also can they go from losers to legends in Fatal? And these guys are gonna be playing against? I hope they get the Spin Brothers because then it'd be like pair versus pair. Duo versus Zero. Oh man, it's one of the Spanish contingents. It's Cacho, and he's one of my favorite Spanish YouTubers. He always shows well in Fatal, but he never wins. I think he can do it this time. Maybe, I hope, possibly. Buena suerte, amigo. And now up in this next matchup. Oh, it's the Spin Brothers. These two play as a pair as well. Now, I heard that they're really good at opening packs, but not so good in the game. And as a manager myself, Manager Eno, I know what looks good and what looks bad. And they have some work to do. <sighs> you guys know him and love him. Swayback! Swayback's just by himself, and I'm still wondering when he's gonna do a Conradinho intro. I see him do everybody else. Never does miss me, I'm just a little frustrated. Also, I know that he loves Kinder Eggs. Maybe that's how he can even it up. It's just Kinder Eggs and him versus the Spin Brothers. Just throwing it out there. Next matchup! Fuji! Now, Fuji is a Road to Glory champion, but he's never done Fatal before. So we will see how he does. Maybe he's a dark horse. Maybe he's somebody you don't want to face in the first round. Or maybe you do want to face him. Yet to be seen. Let's see who he's playing against. Fuji is taking on another person from Spain, another YouTuber that I enjoy watching, Mikel. Now, Mikel is a newcomer to Fatal, but he's got potential. He's got talent, he's got skills. So we'll see what he can do. Two newcomers though, so somebody's gonna get past that first round, have some confidence moving on in the tournament. Next matchup. I'm taking my time on this one. Like Louis Figo and the warm balls. Some of these are warm, right? Well, these are warm eggs this time. Hashtag warm ballers. DJ Mario. It's -a me, a Mario. Now this guy is an incredible talent. And he should be a favorite to win it all but he's never won a Fatal in FIFA 17. I still think he has a good chance of winning this. I think somebody from Spain has a good chance. They have a lot of numbers in this tournament. He's gonna be playing against the God himself and one of the best squad builders on the internet, Bateson. Number one in our hearts, number one in our jerseys. I'd like that matchup. All right, who's next? Nick28T, who is just a poor man looking for that glory, you know? That's what I say about him. And Bateson says he's not very good at foot champs. Foot champs. Damn it, I did it again. EA's in my head. And this is who he's playing against, Nick, 28T. Castro! My favorite mustache person on YouTube and maybe even the whole entire world. Now, fun fact about Castro, the last Fatal Tournament that he played in, he won. Then he dropped the mic and didn't play for a while. So he's really, along with Marshall, the reigning champion of this competition. There's like two reigning champs in this one. Nick versus Castro. That's a solid matchup. All right, last two names. Let's find out who they are. Puma score, another guy from the YouTube contingent from Spain. From what I understand, he's not seen as much of a threat, but maybe he can use that to his advantage. Last but not least, I wish it was me. I wish I was drawing my own name. I'd rock you guys in this tux, just kill it. If you watch my career mode, you'd know. This is the problem. This leads to problems. This leads to problems. Come on, man. I dominate. He's going against one of his friends, Pollo. Now after an early exit from the last Fatal Tournament, the good Doctor is looking for La Revancha. The matchups are now complete, so who do you like to win it all? My suggestion is to sign up to all of their channels so that you can see their talented faces on a daily basis, and then you can decide who is the best of the best. And speaking of the best of the best, let's throw it back to that bald beauty, Bateson. And that's that, guys. Some insane matchups. I'm not comfortable. <laughs> I am not looking forward to this fatal yet again, guys. Obviously, um, I'm up against Mario. Very, very difficult opponent on the screen. Now, guys, you're seeing all the draws. So, round one is going to see, and uh, side one as well, guys. It do split into two sides. On side one, we've got Kazooie versus Nep. Um, Marshall versus Lasty, the postcode. We've got Mad Wolves versus Catro, which I think seems to happen every single fatal uh, and it's happened again we've got spin bros versus way back so i'm going to pick my two people who are going to get to the semi-final from this one and i'm going to go guys with marshall and 
I'm going to go with Cacho, Marshall and Cacho for the semi-final of that round. That's my picks anyway, you guys may think differently. On side two, we've got Fuji versus Mikel, two newcomers. Fuji um, is seen as one of the favourites. A lot of you guys might not know, know who Fuji is, but he's one of the best finishers in foot champions that I've seen on a road to glory. Fuji is my favourite for this side, regardless of uh, me being there, Mario being there, Nick, Castro, Pumas being there and stuff. Um, but I'm going to go with Fuji to make it to the semi-final. I'm going to go Fuji versus Ca Castro for the semi-final of this round. So this side, guys, we've got Fuji versus Mikel. I don't know much about Mikel. He could be a good player. We'll have to find out as well if he can progress past Fuji. Then we got DJ Mario versus me. It's obvious, guys. We're getting dislikes on the channel. It's going to happen. <laughs> Regardless of if I lose or beat Mario, the dislikes are coming. Um, and uh, I'm probably going to say Mario's going to beat me, guys. I'm going to be taking a first round exit again uh, in Fatal this uh, this time round. We've got Nick versus Castro, which is obviously a fan favourite matchup. Uh, them two probably don't like the matchup itself, but um, I'm probably going to go with Castro finishing uh, finishing Nick and uh, Nick not making it past. And then the final one, guys, is Pumas versus Dr. Polo. Um, you guys knew I played him in the last round I think he's probably going to progress through versus Pumas but then he's going to play probably Castro and Castro will run riot. So, they're my predictions, guys. As a I think, literally, it's going to be a Castro versus Marshall final again. Um, but I could be wrong. There could be some upsets. Who knows, guys? There's over two legs. Um, sorry, it's best of three in it. So, uh, who knows what could happen over there. Some really, really good finishes in foot champions. But can they recreate it with the teams that they've been given in Fatal this time round? If you guys have enjoyed the Fatal draw today, leave a like here. And like I said, go and subscribe to Jimmy Conrad. He did an awesome job with the draw. And uh, go and check out everyone else involved in the series, guys. Saturday and Sunday. That's when we're going to see people get the teeth stuck into the matchups, and hopefully, I can prog progress versus Mario. But I'm honestly not feeling it, guys, so I'm expecting the first round exit. That way, it's an upset if I do win. Let's see. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, or not. Catch you all next time.